What's up YouTube, this is Hill Phantom. I've got another Starlink project to do and I wanted to share it with you all. As many of you know, uh, I do a lot of these uh, builds and I spend a lot of time out in the bush. However, I do have a full-time job which requires an internet connection. So I use a lot of Starlink, but I also use a lot of Starlink running off of battery power or generator power. I'd like to get away from the generator. Uh, I don't really like burning uh, a whole bunch of fossil fuels if I don't have to. So the battery for me is a really good solution and it's super quiet. So with that, uh, there's a couple different ways to take Starlink from AC to DC. Now traditionally what I was doing is I have a 100 milliamp lithium battery hooked up to a solar panel then hooked up to an inverter, and then I would just simply take the AC plug of the Starlink, plug it into the inverter, and it would start running. Now there's a couple different issues with that. One and most notable is when you're taking DC to AC and doing an inversion, you inherently lose some energy. So there's a lot of what we call energy leakage there. Uh, secondly, when you run Starlink off of AC versus DC, it actually pulls up to 120 watts. Uh, when you run it off of DC power via 48 volts, it actually is going to pull much less. Uh, most folks are saying between 30, 40, and 50, um, you know, during its, its running time. So if I can get about, you know, almost half or more than half, uh, less draw via going to DC, that's a win for me. Now, doing this, um, you can actually do it two different ways. One is very manual, where you can go through and cut the cord of the Starlink uh, and you wire it up. Uh, and you also use something called a crossover cable, which basically is a Cat5, Cat6, Cat7, whatever you're using. Obviously, you wanna use Cat6 at least uh, for a Starlink, but you, this is something we call a crossover cable. Now, it's just not wired inside of that cable the same way at its termination point where you plug it in. Those, what we call twisted pairs, are actually lined up differently for a crossover cable that require, that is required by Starlink. So, uh, what I found actually was a couple different products that negate um, that need to cut the cord as well as using a crossover cable. Now these are just purchased on Amazon. They're really not the cheapest. I'll have uh, details down below and links to these products. Again, I'm not paid for YouTube. I don't get any money for this. Uh, and it's certainly not an affiliate link. It's just there for you to consider. Now the reason I'm using this process is because I actually want to maintain the integrity of the Starlink so that I can actually have a hybrid system. Meaning that if I do have shore power, I can plug it in uh, like I normally would use the Starlink router, just plug it in like you would any appliance to an outlet and uh, you know your Starlink will start running as normal. But I also wanted the ability to actually put it on a DC system where it's now running off 40, 48 volts DC. And, and these products allow me to not cut the cord and actually plug it right into these two devices that take uh, away the need to cut cords and things like that. So I'm calling it a plug and play system. I'm calling it a hybrid system because I can easily switch it between AC and DC. Uh, and again, without you know, sacrificing the integrity by cutting anything. So with that, what I'll do is I will show you um, the products, uh, what I'm using, and then we'll actually put it in my solar box. I'll show you that install. I'm gonna have it hooked up to a couple different switches so I can turn it on and off if I'm not using it. Um, but overall, I'm gonna show you basically the basic pieces to this plug and play system as it stands now. Then we'll go build it, we'll test it. When I am at camp later on in the week, I'll also test if I'm getting more time out of it uh, than I would if I did any type of inversion uh, using just an inverter and plugging in how it normally is. So with that, let's go over to the table and I'll show you a couple of the pieces uh, that I'm going to use in order to power this by DC. Okay, I'm going to go through a couple different of these parts that I'm using for this plug and play system to take Starlink from AC to DC. We're going to pretend just fictitiously that this is the battery. So in my case, I have a 100 mAh milliamp battery, uh, lithium, that is 12 volts. Now, one of the things about the Starlink is, as I mentioned, runs on 48 volts. So this is basically just a converter and it will convert your 12 volts to 48 volts. And with this, you can see here, this is gonna to go to the battery. Remember, that's a fake battery. And then these are actually gonna wire into this device. 
right here via these ports, positive and negative. Now this device basically is a PoE injector. It's gonna do two things. It's gonna send data to our router, and you'll notice I'm not using the Starlink router here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then it will actually power the Starlink. So let's start over here, battery to converter to 48 to run the PoE. PoE runs the satellite. The satellite pushes back through to the router. Of course, this is Wi-Fi, and then the router is going to be hooked up versus uh, via this converter. So while we're here, we'll talk quickly about this converter. This is a AC uh, DC router. What, why I say that like that is because it has a wall plug, but like many wall plugs, it it's, has a converter in it. So it's gonna maybe take uh, 120 volt, but it's actually pushing out via a wall wart, uh, only 12 volts. In this case, this one runs off USB-C and was five volts. So again, trying to keep energy consumption low, I just wanted to go with this router uh, versus the Starlink router. There's a lot of reasons for that other than that, uh, but uh, I will save that for another video. But this simply goes to the battery obviously we're going to make longer cords uh, it will power that and then this USB-C plug will plug into the router how is this plug in play from overall overview it comes into uh, light these devices now this is Yao Shang I believe um, that you can buy on and I'll have links down below as I mentioned and this is the other piece that they have by Yao Shang. And these are the two pieces that you need to purchase to make this work so you don't have to cut the cords. Now, this piece basically, if you look in here, is where the micro US micro USB will plug in from the satellite. So this basically is taking away the need to cut it as well as the need for a crossover cable. It's all happening in here. So your Starlink will get plugged in here via the USB and that will end up powering it. Now this goes back over here as I mentioned to this PoE injector which is powered by this converter into the battery and then that'll send data over here. So these are the two pieces that are paramount uh, to this whole system working. This piece is really important as well that you'll, you can buy on Amazon they're not that expensive, uh, but you need to make sure you are converting 12 volt to 48 or none of this will work. And then of course, make sure you're wiring this one into your battery as well and not into this. This will all become more clear once we do the install, but I wanted to give you the basic layout of this. Uh, once again, I'll show you these products. You can look them up on Amazon, uh, Yao Sheng. Uh, and, and then if you don't want to cut the quarter use a crossover, you also have to get this piece. This is upside down, but I'll show you this piece as soon as it comes into focus. All right. Uh, also make note that this is for Dishy version two. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're using the right Dishy with the right product set. These two devices were expensive. I can't remember exactly what I paid for them, but I don't remember them being that cheap. But again, for me, and as much as I use the Starlink on the road, this made a lot of sense to be able to do this DC without cutting the cord, throwing it into an AC system if I ever need to. So let's start the build. I'm actually gonna put you on a GoPro so it might look a little bit different or sound a little bit different. I apologize, but it's the only way I can do it is put you on my head while I'm wiring these things up to show you what I'm doing. All right, it might be a little bit loud, but I've got all my tools and everything I need here. Here's the PoE uh, injector. The one thing to note, they have pretty small holes, so I just didn't have any screws laying around. So I'm just gonna hot glue it, which in my mind is perfectly acceptable. So I'll just paste a little bit of hot glue on here. And then here's the easy part. We'll go ahead and stick this on here. That looks pretty good. All right, next thing is the, just the piece, the other piece that's going to switch over the crossover, just makes it easier. Uh, so this is actually gonna plug in there. I'm probably gonna put this one um, somewhere like right here, I believe. That should be pretty good. So we'll get some hot glue on that. All right, hot glue works pretty good. Starlink cable will go in there, PoE to here to power it, and then we'll take this, and I'm actually gonna screw this one on. This tends to get a little bit hot, 
Uh, so I'm gonna have this one probably something like this. So I can wire these in. And then of course these will go to our battery. Uh, eventually they'll go to a switch, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna do it to the battery to make it easy. So next step is just drilling that in. Everything hooked up here. Uh, just to run it through, there's a power distribution block over there. Here is your battery. Of course, this is at going to this switch, which I can turn on or off. This is making it from 12 volts to 48, going into our power injector, POE, power over the ethernet. This cord is actually going to here, this other piece that I showed you, and this out to the Starlink, which is out in the yard. And here's my router. You'll notice here that I'm online. It's actually downloading an update. It's not in the best spot, but we'll do a speed test. You can see it's it's running pretty good. Um, again, this is just because it's it's located, the dish is located in a bad spot. So it connected, actually doing an update through, you can use any router. Uh, and again, the router is controlled by this right here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. I know it's kind of sideways, but that connects into the router. So this is basically my solar box, solar control panel. That goes up to my solar box, which charges this. And then here's my inverter. I just haven't hooked it up yet. So I won't need that to power the internet, uh, or to, sorry, I won't need that to power Starlink. But yeah, the, you can see it right here. This is the complete system. Changing it from 12 to 48, power injector, POE, to Starlink, um, and again, these links to these products are in the bottom in the description. So appreciate you watching. Almost done here, but we'll wrap it up. Have a good one.